Hey guys, it's Chase, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a switch motherboard that came in. This switch had a lot of corrosion, so we're going to have to replace the Joy-Con rail connector on the board. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Let's go to the scope and take a look. Alright guys, so I have the board in a board holder, and we have to heat the board from the bottom, because if we heat the board from the top, this connector right here for the backlight will melt, and we don't want to do that. So, obviously you can see what's wrong with connector. Uh, the connector right here. We're just going to put some flux around this connector here. And we're going to grab the hot air station. Alright. Flux I am using is Amtec 559 V2. The solder is not melting at all. So let's go up to we'll go up to 410. All right, 410 is a very high heat, but we should be able to get it to melt at this temperature. There it is. Yeah, it ripped all the pads, came right off. Well, they ripped every pad. <laughs> There's one left, actually. He's at. You only ever need one pad when you rip stuff off, wherever that people. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? When I take off CPUs from the board, I make sure I break every pen except for one. Yeah. That takes some straight up talent, man. Alright, so I added some flux there. Now I'm gonna tin up these pads here with some leaded solder. Right. Well, one of the pa pads here was like not good. It wasn't going to receive solder anyway, so I'm glad we pulled this connector off and cleaned it out. All right. Looking nice and fresh here. Oh, because it's my own video. Yep. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and use some more 559 here because that is my favorite flux. Okay. So I have a new connector. There we go. So so hard to position. You know, I think this is actually a connector from a. Um, from like the inside of the Joy-Con maybe? Okay. The flux on the other side. Alright, I'm okay with that. Let's heat this up and then watch it flow into place hopefully. The camera shut off and decided to just stop recording out of complete nowhereness. Okay. You see how that's starting to flow there? Push pressure on the connector. That is it right there. Now we can go in with a soldering iron and touch up the joints. Every, everything. Yeah, dude. What do you like? If you tell me you like everything, then I still don't know what to give you. You can just give me a burger. Well, they have, that's the problem, Chase. Is everything they have is a burger. There's like 50 choices there. I think just choose a random burger and I will probably eat it no problem, my dude. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Okay, so you want that. Do you like fries with that? Of course, dude. You know that Coke is the best of the the goose or the gander, whatever you want to call it. The goose to my gander or whatever. Yeah, dude. Right. So I need 
to do these pins back here. Let's put a dab of flux there. All right. We're just going to touch up these joints here. Boom. Well done. By the way, I did purchase a few things off of NorthridgeFix.com. And this uh, double-ended brush here does wonders for cleaning up the flux on the board. A Q-tip does the same, of course, for some things, but like this double-ended brush is like a miracle tool. The double-ended brush I'm talking about, it's the one that has the steel bristles on it, like this, for cleaning up like corrosion. And then just has a soft end like this to brush up the other stuff. But our joints look super fresh, and we're going to go ahead and test out the device and see if it works. Also, the board holder that I have is the board holder that Northridge Fix typically uses. This board holder is incredible. All right. So I attempted to fix this ribbon cable for the Joy-Con with a jumper. But the problem is, this jumper is a little too thick to fit in that connector. So we're going to get rid of this jumper wire here. Alright. Phase 2. So I bought some of these. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to use one of the tail ends of one of these. So we're going to take one of these pad strips here. And I'm going to bring it on over. Okay. Okay. Let's. Okay, that will be good enough for me. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, perfect. All right. Hey, the ribbon cable may look not that or not very good, but it will work. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, and it's working. Let's take a look there. Let's see right there. So it shows and let up. Connect it again. It up, connect it again, and it's working. So we now have a working switch. Well, that will be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.